or welcome to my channel you guys so today i am back with another hair review today's video is sponsored by yolissa hair they were kind of to send me over this 26 inch 13 by 4 blind lace frontal unit in 200 percent density and she's thick y'all she is full but yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video i'm gonna make a few little points real quick this wig actually don't fit my head and i'm gonna get into that y'all will see that in the install portion which is actually why i have it styled like this because it's actually not even on my head from this point forward um but this side is down from here to here is glued down but it's not on my head from here over so anyway y'all will get into that in the install portion but you see your girl finessed it anyway only because and i usually don't do that if companies send me wigs and they don't fit then i just don't do the video because what am i gonna do with that but i just really wanted to wear this wig because like it's it was just like when i took it out the bag it was just so nice and full i've never had a blonde wig this thick like 200 percent density i don't like thin hair and y'all already know that but i definitely don't like thin blonde hair no ma'am and this was not that so i just had to install it so yeah let's go ahead and get to the video we're gonna start with the unboxing all right so this is their packaging it came inside of this satin drawstring bag inside of like the mailer there was no box it just came inside of this so it just says yo listen hair and this little burgundy satin drawstring bag which i like anyway because boxes be too bulky take up too much space so yeah but inside they sent two new wig caps they sent a pink edge brush you know your girl likes pink they sent a scarf i thought this was one of those like really big scars that you like can fold up and tie and stuff but it's actually like only this wide like that y'all see in the video like that's as wide as it is it's kind of like a giant edge scarf really and then they also sent an edge scarf hot pink says yo Lisa on it very nice we'll be using that can't never have too many they also sent an elastic band can't have too many of those gotta melt that lace they sent some lashes and then they sent the wig so it came inside this plastic bag like i said this is 26 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal wig in 200 percent density and i got a large cap size you know your girl got a big head but the thing still didn't fit but i sent them um like pictures of it like that doesn't make any sense the way that it's sitting on my head i know it's not my head like i know i have a big head but i know that's not me like it's not it's not my fault it's the way they made the wig it's not made right and i sent them pictures of it so hopefully they fix that because i really like the density on this and this is you know a pretty nice wig but yeah anywho this is the construction like i said don't you see you can see in the construction that it looks a little funny like you know what i'm saying compared to a lot of the other unboxings i've done but anywho this is the 13 by 4 lace right here got two combs in the front a comb in the back and adjustable straps and this is a straight texture so yeah that's how it comes y'all see how yellow and like blonde it is i don't wear my hair yellow blonde or you know straight out the bag like that i did tone this wig with purple shampoo i let it sit for a while and this is what i ended up with if y'all want a video on how to tone my blonde wigs i will do that for you just let me know in the comments and i also toned the knots on this unit which i did do in my shein wig video i did show y'all how to do that but if y'all just want like a separate video just on that then I can do that too but yeah I did tone the knots didn't pluck it so I thought the hairline was pretty decent on it but yeah that's it for the unboxing I was really sad that it didn't fit because I feel like I've gotten the hang of blonde wigs now blonde wigs give me a lot of trouble like with installs like I'm just now getting the hang of installing blonde hair and I was really excited to do this one because you know it was gonna look good but this still looks really cute and it still looks good it just isn't all the way on my head but anyway, now we're going to get into the install and styling portion of this video. And then I'll give y'all my review on this unit. So if you want to see all of that, then keep on watching. All right, so let me tell y'all what I'm gonna have to do with this wig because she don't fit. And it really isn't even that it don't fit. It's not made right. And I took pictures of it and I sent it to the company. Like, it don't matter how far, like, look at, this is the front. The front fits fine. It's the side. And I done told y'all about that before, about these companies. Like, their hairlines don't be low enough on the side. Like, they be too far back. Look how far, like, I pull it up. I can pull this up to my, about my eyebrow. And look at the side. Like, that makes zero sense. Like, look at that. You can't really see it because my bald cap but like all of this from here forward is bald cap like you can see all that and on both sides like why and i was so upset y'all because this wig is so bomb look at the hairline i didn't even do nothing to it like except um tone the knots but like look at the hairline like it looks so good let me get up close like y'all see this hairline it looks so good but the freaking hairline ain't made right or the wig ain't made right or something and it's so thick like i noticed that when i took it out the bag it's so thick and long and not thin at the end so i was so upset about it but i still wanted to wear it because like it's such a bomb wig so what i'm have to do well what i'm going to do i don't have to because i usually when companies send me wigs like this i don't even do the video like because what i'm gonna do with it but it's just so bomb and i really 
want to make it work and I'm not finna rip my hair out to make no wig fit. So what I'm gonna do, cause look, I can pull one side and it be good, but the other side is way back here. So what I'm gonna have to do is tr maybe try and do a hairstyle I was thinking doing like a side swoop to cover all of this. That's what I'm gonna have to do to make it work because it's not gonna fit like on the other side. So I'm gonna do like a side swoop or something to cover all of that. Cause I really wanna wear it still. Yeah, that's just really annoying when companies do that. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of the cap off right here, but I'm gonna just glue from here to here and it's the only part I'm gonna glue down. I'm not gluing this down cause I'm like mm, rip my freaking hair out. So I might just do like some got to be right here and then just slick the swoop over it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna glue all the way across because that doesn't make no sense. So yeah, that's what I have to do. So hopefully this works. I'm gonna be really sad if it doesn't cause that'll just be completely pointless. And a waste of a bomb wig. Like it's so good y'all. Like it's so full. Like there's nothing thin. Y'all know I don't do thin. Look how full this wig is and it's so long. The ends aren't even thin. Come on. Like y'all I could have had the game on lock with this one if y'all had the wig made right, but you don't. So yeah, that's what I'm be doing. So if you see me, when y'all see me gluing it down and I start the glue right here and I don't go further, that's why. And if you see that the wig is all the way back here on this side, that's why. So yeah.
Alright y'all, so I got the front and this side glued down. Y'all see that? Blind used to be tricky for me to deal with, but I think I got it now. But I got the front and the side glued down, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this mess over here. See, and then you don't wanna get makeup on blind hair either, so I'm trying not to do that. Okay, let me figure out what to do with this over here or how I'm gonna get this down. I think, I don't know if like got to be is gonna hold it and I'm kinda scared to put lace glue right here because i don't want it to like seep through and get on my hair so i do have this spray right here this um eben new york wonder lace bond it's an adhesive spray extreme firm hold i got this at the beauty supply store is right by where they keep like the got to be spray at so i just got a little can to try it so maybe i'll try and spray it down with that it says 10x holds for lace so we gonna see Ugh, this is too much this is the most ghetto thing i have ever done like for real like Come on now. Like, this is my cap now, y'all. This is where my cap stops. This is where the hairline stops. Like, ghetto. Ghetto. But I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna finesse it. Because I really want to wear this hair. And I don't get a lot of companies that send me blonde wigs. So if there are any companies out there that want to send me blonde wigs, please do. Because I have a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of different projects I want to do with blonde hair. And, yeah. It could be bobs. Like, blonde bobs. Or really long blonde hair. That fit. Okay, some that fit. So if any companies wanna send me some blonde hair, please do, like please, because I do have a video coming up with an old wig, an old blonde wig I did a video on in the past, and I'm trying something, y'all gonna see that. I feel like y'all gonna really like that video, but um, yeah. Just, I ain't gonna say nothing, just stay tuned. It's, it's gonna be fine though, it's gonna be fine. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, please send me some blonde wigs. I couldn't dye this one, but I definitely would've dyed it because they didn't want me to dye it. They, just, they said I could tone it, which I did do. Just let it sit in purple shampoo for a little while. Cause I don't like wearing no yellow wigs. If you wear your uh, blonde wig straight out the box, I don't trust you. Cause that, mm -mm. how do how do y'all do that? Like it don't look good. Like, I'm sorry. No, I don't trust you if you don't tone your hair, even if you just wearing it blonde. No sir. Not me. But y'all see that uh, lace melt though. Mm, okay, yeah. And no edges, no baby hairs. And I'm not gonna do nothing because look at it. You don't need it. I don't need it. But let me, I need to brush all the little stray hairs because I know I got some for where I cut the lace. So let me brush all of those out. Blonde hair is so messy. I like wearing blonde hair and I like doing color. It's always fun, but it is so messy. Your girl definitely getting good with these wigs. I thought I was good before. Y'all wrong for, for hyping me the way y'all be doing on my videos because I be looking at it like, mm, I see less. <laughs> I also have an Amazon wig, cheap Amazon wig video coming up. It's been like over a year since I did one of those because I don't want to be like repetitive because it's like, it ain't too many wigs that's like cheap wigs that are good. Like I be trying to find some good ones, but still cheap. It ain't too many without like kind of doing the same thing or like the same brand, just in a different color. So yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the, or should I go ahead and spray it down? So let's try this Wonder Lace Bond stuff. And see like even, even with me trying to finesse it like this, like look at it in the back. Like, cause I can't pull it down all the way like right here. Or like where it's supposed to be behind my ear to like cover all that. But I'm gonna just try and keep the hair over it. Like that's how you know it's just not my head. Like these companies gonna be making the wigs right. Like that makes no sense for it to like, fit here and right here well i have to pull it on the side for it to fit and then you get over here and this side is that far back from where your cap my cap is right here this is how much space is between the hairline like that's no that's not my head that's them so i sprayed it and i'm gonna put the hair up and i'm just put the elastic band around it like i normally do so, you know, if you ever have a wig like that ends up like this, maybe this can be something you can do to finesse it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna just blow dry it some. Two hands in the sky, I'm so listening. You know what I'm talking about, I'm out the hood. 
If you not from here, you can walk it out. You not hood if you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, it's stuck, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, it's down, as you can see. So that lace bond stuff do work. Like it's down. So um, I'm so sad because look how good it looks. Like it actually looks really good. Like the hairline and everything. But um, I wanted to do the side swoop and do my makeup. But I was gonna do my makeup first, but I don't have time for that because the sun is going down. So I'm gonna come back to this Sunday. If I go out, then I'm gonna just wear a scarf over it. But this side looks so good and like all this. Like don't don't look at this. Like come on. But we gonna get this side swoop and cover all that. But that lace bond stuff do work. Like, it's on there. I might install my wigs like that when I do glueless installs. I don't use lace glue. Because I usually use got to be sprayed for that. But I'm gonna start using that stuff when I don't want to use lace glue. But yeah, anyway, we'll come back to this. I like how it turned out though when I toned it. See, this is how I like my blonde hair. Platinum. But yeah, anyway, I'll see y'all Sunday. It's Friday, by the way, so. I'm just wearing a headband on it for now. So I don't have to tie a scarf on it when I go out. And you know, yeah, I'm just wearing a headband on it right now, so. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So I know I told y'all I was going to finish this wig on Sunday. It was Friday when I filmed, but it is Tuesday now. We're gonna get started. I went ahead and did my makeup because I didn't want to um like have to do my makeup around the swoop. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't done my lashes yet. I'm gonna do my lashes after I do the swoop, so it won't be like hair getting stuck in my lashes and stuff. Cause they're they're aggravating. But yeah, I'm just going to part out a section like this and swoop it over with some got to be spray and maybe some spritz. Spritz be getting on my nerves though. That stuff be sticky, but it holds. I think I'm just use got to be spray, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna be talking. I'm just gonna be swooping. I don't know why they been lying, but your shit is not that inspiring. To look like I'm ready for early retirement. My look at my wrist and it's already platinum. I am the kid with the motor mouth, so who you referring to? Who is this nigga you heard about? This hair shit is so bad, y'all, by the way. Bitch, I'm getting on my nerves. I'm ready to take it out. It shit is so bad. Talking that shit with your back to me, just know it always get back to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right y'all so my a little attempt to do my makeup beforehand i know some of y'all probably thinking like oh that don't make sense why did you do makeup before but like you know when i'm doing my foundation around my forehead and like contouring and all that around my forehead i was trying to avoid getting makeup in the hair while i do that part so i thought it was smart to do my makeup first and i was gonna try and be real careful while i'm swooping so i don't like pick up any makeup while i'm swooping but i did so it's makeup like all in the hair and i'm so mad because this little section right here is like brownish like blonde looking i don't like that so i tried to put some powder in what is that in here anyway i tried to put some powder in it i, I tried to wipe it off with alcohol because usually alcohol gets makeup out of blonde hair but it wasn't budging too much so i tried to use my airspun powder the naturally neutral shade to put over it to see if that'll help cover it up which it helped a little bit but i still feel like it's kind of there so i feel like i need like some white eyeshadow or something so that's what i'm gonna try and do now to put over it because i just cannot stand like yellowish brown looking blonde hair and i just really want to fix this i don't think it's doing too much for it but i think it looks a little better i don't know am i trying to fool myself it's not too too bad but still i don't even know if y'all can tell i know i can how different it looks but okay i think that's helping hopefully it doesn't look like weird in pictures because i am taking pictures i really want to take pictures i don't i have my outfits that i'm taking pictures in today it's a burgundy outfit burgundy and gold and uh black and orange and white but i really want to do something with pink like i feel like this is very much giving barbie you know especially with my pink top that i'm wearing right now I feel like i should style something with this top i don't know okay i think this is good as it's gonna get it is what it is yeah let me put my lashes on all right y'all so this is how the hair came out i'm giving very much barbie in this top in the black on here you know but yeah i really finesse this even though um the wig don't fit but who, who gonna know and who gonna say something yeah anywho on to the review portion all right y'all so that was the install and styling portion as y'all saw i explained how everything had to go down now i'm about to give y'all my review on this unit so obviously y'all know how to knock out some points because y'all saw that that don't make no sense i told y'all about that before company making these wigs and the hairlines on the sides don't be low enough like what's going on with that and i actually haven't had that issue in a good little minute but yeah i don't be understanding that the front fits fine but the sides did not so if i pull one side then one side's gonna be way back here so it just wasn't nothing I can do but a hairstyle that will cover one side. So I ended up doing a side swoop. Yeah, I'm gonna knock off like, I'm gonna knock off, I usually knock off a point for like each problem, but I'm knocking off two points for that because like that don't make no sense. Like the thing ain't even made right, you know what I'm saying? And it's a large, like come on. The lace did melt very well though. I did get it to melt into my skin. I know y'all don't see that guy yeah so that wasn't an issue the lace is actually pretty good on it i didn't have any issues when i toned the knots and all of that they took really well and y'all don't see no white knots you don't see no white knots shedding horrible y'all this wig shed so freaking bad like even though the wig didn't fit i was still ready to wear this hair and i was gonna finesse it and still wear it anyway but i'm just so ready to take it out just because of the shedding it shed so freaking bad like it sheds everywhere even when i'm styling it like I can't even show y'all the amount of hair that came out just while I was styling it. It shed so bad, y'all. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. It shed so bad. So that was the issue. The density now. Density, 200% density. Very full. That was my favorite part about this wig and the length on it also. It is giving 26 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and give y'all a length check. Yeah, it stops, like, way down here on me. If I put it to the back, it stops past my butt so yeah definitely given 26 inches definitely given 200 percent density it is so full my two favorite things about this unit is so full and long and i just love me some long blonde hair and i've been wanting some long blonde hair i actually do like wearing it like platinum blonde but i also like to do colors and stuff so like i couldn't dye it for this video because they didn't want me to dye it but i will be dyeing it after and wearing it another color but i'm not like leaving it in i'm just doing it for pictures because obviously it don't fit in and shit is too much for me to just be wearing this you know installing it and wearing it for days at Time. yeah i will be doing a different color in it just for instagram pictures like just for a day and then i'll be done with it but yeah i really like blonde wigs i get to have fun with those and like be more creative with those and i actually have a couple videos coming up i'm gonna be doing some really cool wigs like some really cool styles with these blonde wigs like y'all not ready y'all not ready but yeah if there's any companies out there that want to send me blonde wigs like please don't be scared to send me no blonde wigs because they tend to send me like highlight wigs and black wigs or chocolate brown please don't be scared to send me no blonde wigs like please so i really like the density and the length on it obviously she's not big hair friendly that's really everything my only issues with the wig was the shedding and the fit like obviously it don't fit like it's not made right it ain't even my fault it, it's not my head it's a large cap and the thing still don't fit even when i pull it all the way up here the sides are still way back here. Like there's just no way you could do anything with that other than something like this where you cover one side and just pull one side to cover. There's nothing else you could do with this. So I guess that's a little tip for y'all. If y'all ever run into a wig that, you know, 
you have this issue with, here's a style you can do to finesse it. Side swoop, pull it to one side, glue it down from here to here, swoop it over here. Ain't nobody gonna know. I think that's everything I have to say. So overall, I'm gonna rate this unit a seven out of 10. Like I said, I knocked two points off for the way it fit and the way it's made. And of course, I told y'all the shedding, terrible. So yeah, seven out of 10. If you want to purchase this unit for yourself, the link will be down in the description box below as always. And I don't believe there's a coupon code for this. So I, I won't even tell y'all to check down there for a coupon code because I don't think there is one. And thank you again to Yolissa Hair for sponsoring this video. And that's all I got. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. Because I got some heat coming. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.